preparations for the inauguration of President-elect William Ruto and his deputy, Regade Gashagwa, at the Kasarani Stadium carried on ahead of Tuesday's event. Kenya Defense Forces troops mandated to mount the Guard of Honor and undertake the military change of guard ceremony did yet another round of rehearsals that detailed the step-by-step -step undertaking, undertakings of next Tuesday's event. Hassan Mugambi attended the rehearsals and paints a picture of what to expect. Tuesday the 13th of September is a day that will be significantly conducted by the military. The full dress rehearsal at the Kasarani Stadium giving a glimpse of what to expect. The tri-service parade bringing together the three formations of the Kenya Defense Forces is expected to march into the Kasarani Stadium to mount a guard of honor ready for inspection. The stage set in the 60,000 capacity stadium is expected to hold more than 45 heads of state and governments who have confirmed attendance. The delegation of dignitaries is expected to be seated by 10 a.m. Members of the public wishing to attend the historic inauguration ceremony are expected to be in and seated by 9 a.m. Protocol has it that Chief Justice Martha Kome will be the first to arrive among the high-ranking officials. She will be followed by Deputy President-elect Rigathi Gashagwa, who will be accompanied by his wife. Once they take their position, the man of the hour President-elect William Ruto will arrive alongside his wife and take to the stage. Then outgoing President Uhuru Kenyatta will make his ceremonial grand entry and one last lap of honor on board the ceremonial vehicle. Still in charge, Kenyatta is the one to inspect the guard of honor as shown in the rehearsal. This will be his last guard of honor to inspect as commander in chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. Once he takes the stage, Chief Justice Kome will introduce her team to undertake the oaths. Pursuant to the provisions of Article 138, 10B of the Constitution of Kenya, I, Mother Karamu Kome. The president elect will take the oath of allegiance to the Constitution and the oath of affirmation for the execution of functions of the office of the president. I, William Samuel Ruto, in full relationship with the I assume as president of the Republic of Kenya. After taking the oath of office, President Uhuru Kenyatta will hand over the instruments of power, a sword and a copy of the constitution to his successor. Notably, immediately after that, Uhuru's aide-de-camp, ADC, will move to Ruto's side, signaling the change of guard. A military fanfare will follow. <laughs> Then the national anthem will be played in full by the band during which Uhuru's presidential standard will be lowered and Ruto's will be hoisted simultaneously. A 21-gun salute and Uhuru will be given his standard by the Chief of Defense Forces, General Robert Kibochi. The parade will march out to pave way for entertainment and speeches that will characterize the rest of the program. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.